Well, it may not be fascinating, but I've moved it three times. The first time I let it drop, and then I noticed Mr. Crayfish likes this monster magnet, this little two by two by one inch. I tossed it over here where I could see it, and there was two of them there. I came back, there was only one. I guess they're fighting for it. Knowing what I know about cryptochromes, and you can look that up, they're magnetic receptors. Let me get away from the sun glare here. Cryptochromes, and humans have cryptochromes. That's why it actually keeps me awake when I experiment around that monster magnet. That this is kind of like a, a safe lighthouse, if you will, for Mr. Crayfish there. Because he loves, I'm just been magnet fishing. You see the magnets right there. It's Mr. Crayfish. He loves Mr. Magnet. Don't you, Mr. Crayfish? Down here in the south, we call them crawdads. But I've dropped it three times in places where I could see it. I've just been out magnet fishing. You can see the ferromagnetic rocks that are stuck to it. And each time, one crayfish at least, and once there's two crayfish, like to burrow themselves underneath it. Don't you, Mr. Crayfish? Yeah, he's, he can feel that magnetic field. So, I know you only say, well, crayfish like to hide under rocks, so why isn't he hiding under this thing? So, there you go. Maybe boring, but uh, at least I could say no one's uh, ever demonstrated it before. I need my magnet back, Mr. Crawfish. Yes, I do. Thanks for watching.